It's my first group meeting in my new lab today and it was really, really fun. Um, so basically no matter where you go, um, there's always going to be group meetings. Um, so these are often like a weekly, they're typically weekly at, and usually you rotate the people. So it'll be like someone will be giving research talk about what they've been up to with their research and then sometimes you'll have like a journal. Um, people will be talking about journal articles and so it all kind of varies when you go from lab to lab. Um, but it's really exciting uh, to ha to go to group meetings when you're new to a lab especially uh, because I'm getting to learn about what everybody works on as well as kind of like get a sense of the lab dynamics and I just really really love it um, and so yeah so group meetings uh, really really I, like, I mean it can be stressful when you have to give group meeting but when you get to listen to other people group give group meeting it's really fun you'll be like given like this is your week you're supposed you are going to give a research presentation fill us in on what's happening in your research and then in the when you have you'll cycle through all the people in the lab um and like alternating with journal clubs where you have to like present um article or articles um in depth and so it's going to like all depend on your lab, the various specifics. What's really cool about um, in my new lab is that we also have like bi-weekly and bi-weekly, I mean like every other week. I really hate the term bi-weekly because like sometimes it's like bi is like twice a week, but no, it's every other week. We have these like subgroup meetings. So some people are in the lab, there's kind of like these two arms of the lab. And so um, like some people work on like chromatin, um, and some people work on ribosomes and so I'm on like the ribosome side so we have like a ribosome meeting and then they have one of their like chromatin meetings um, and this is really great too because it's like a smaller um, and so it's like you give an update about what you've been up to um, as well as like troubleshoot um, bounce ideas off of one another and it's this really great setting um, because it's just a few of you um, but multiple heads work better than single heads um but it's really stress-free environment like you don't have to provide prepare slides or anything um you just like make a little printout of some of the results that you want to talk about um and so i had my first one of those last week and that was really 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 fun um and then i had my first like official group meeting today so i got to hear about someone's um in the lab's research which is really exciting because i'm new so i'm still trying to figure out what everybody's doing as well as the different um, techniques that are used, the different areas of research. Since I'm um, coming from a uh, like a lab that was more focused on like structural biology and stuff, and here there's a lot of chemical biology, um, pharmacology, that sort of thing. Um, and so yeah, so I'm like in the our lab is part of like the cellular and molecular pharmacology um, program. Um, that's like the branch or whatever that we're in um and so yeah so we're do like i gotta learn about a lot of really cool new techniques and things today um and as well just kind of get a feel for the people in the lab and how these meetings are going to go and all in all i was just like really really happy and it was really fun and it was just really laid back and everybody was um real, there was a lot of participation which was really great um people seemed really engaged and really um lots of great ideas i like how in our lab there's people coming from like all different angles so there's some people who are more like chemistry -y, some people who are more like biology -y or pharmacology -y, structure -y, -y, i don't know but there's people that are like all these different backgrounds and all these different areas of expertise and it was really cool that we could kind of um, all kind of just brainstorm and it was just, I don't know, it was just really fun and I really like, this is kind of like how last week I was talking about how I really just like having geeky conversations. Um, I really just like this sort of thing. So like once you get going in your research and stuff, sometimes group meeting, um, at least in my old place, it'd be like, oh man, it's in the middle of an experiment. But at least right now, when I'm still in like the planning and preparing and getting everything set up to do wet work, um, it was a nice way to um, spend my afternoon and I'm looking forward to future group meetings when I um, am going to get to learn more about other people's work, um, as well as just like talking to them in the lab. Um, but yeah, so I don't know, I'm just still feeling really, really grateful and like 
keep instilling that like pinch me how did I get here mode and yeah I just really really love it here uh, and yeah so group meetings cool almost forgot one of the other important things about group meetings is they typically start with like lab business or lab biz where people can um, bring up any sort of lab wide issues like can people have you noticed anything weird with the centrifuge or i ordered this thing when it comes in can you please make sure it gets to the minus 20 or if there's updates like today like our break room is going to get remodeled so everything needs to be out of the kitchen um that sort of thing as well as updates about various potential changes in any of the lab-wide procedures or um, that sort of thing. Um, so basically things that people need to know about um, or various things that people want to discuss um, with regard to things that influence multiple people in the lab um, so we can all kind of like talk about it together.